Hey guys, today we are looking at the clothing that I take when I go on three season backpacking. That's next. Welcome back into Renegade, I'm Jeff. This channel is all about hiking, backpacking, the outdoors, and all the gear in between. If you're into those things too, consider subscribing. Today we are looking at the clothing that I take on three season backpacking trips. Everything that I have, I'm either wearing or it fits in this little pod here. You wanna be very careful when you take clothes. It's definitely something you can overpack on and you wanna take just what you need. So everything in here is what I need for my three season backpacking. It keeps me warm if it gets cold at night. It gives me a change of clothes if I get wet or dirty or anything like that, but it allows me to have the versatility I need for all the different temperatures that I'm gonna encounter. So let's take a look at it in more detail. All right, so everything I take with me backpacking clothing wise are either things that I am wearing or it fits in this here pod. This is from Hyperlite, it is a small 3400. A pod. It's made of Dyneema. It keeps everything nice and waterproof as well. So a really nice thing in here. So let's first talk about what I wear when I am out hiking. First off, the Astro Man Sun Hoodie. This is my preferred uh, base layer or top that I wear while I am out uh, hiking and backpacking. It's 50 SPF uh, sun protection here or UPF clothing wise. It has a really nice hood. It's a bit more durable of a sun hoodie than the really thin polyester like the Echo hoodie. And um, this one here features a zip in the middle to where you can open up the chest area, allow some hot air to get out, or if you also like a V-neck, you can also make it a V-neck and then zip it up if you want extra sun protection. Little chest pocket here in the middle as well. You can store some things as well, but super stretchy, super breathable, really quick drying. It weighs only 5.6 ounces and it sells for $89. I think it's well worth the money. It's a little bit on the higher end, but durability and the amount of sun protection and the features that it has, it's a good deal for me. If you wanna see a little bit more about why I chose this sun hood in particular versus other options that are out there. You can click the video right here and uh, check out some comparisons that I made. Looking at the bottoms, I like to wear the Outdoor Research Ferrosi pants. These are super thin, super lightweight. They're super breathable as well. These will also have 50 SPF sun protection. These have a mix of nylon and spandex as well. So they're super durable and really stretchy as well. They can brush against rock, different things like that. They're not gonna uh, tear or rip or anything thing very easily. These can also repel light rain to an extent as well. Uh, I use these pants even when I'm glissading down the snow and uh, they tend to hold up and uh, not absorb tons of water or anything like that as I'm doing it. So they're pretty lightweight. They weigh in at only 10 ounces. So uh, I'm usually wearing these uh, if I'm not going to overheat or anything like that. If it's not super hot outside, um, I will be wearing these the majority of the time since I hate sunscreen. Like I said, 50 UPF. These sell for $89 new at Outdoor Research. All right, so looking down at the feet, I have a combination of socks that I like to use. I have this in Gingy liner sock, and if you can see, it has these little pockets here for the toes, and uh, it really helps to prevent blisters. At first, it felt kind of weird having material between your toes and stuff, but as I started walking and hiking, I can do super long distances now without a bunch of blisters like I used to get in the past. So they're super thin. Uh, they weigh just about an ounce and a half. Uh, for the pair and uh, really lightweight as well quick drying too I love to use my darn tough socks over those so I'll put these over they have a light cushion their mid uh, heel here uh, go up to about the calf area and uh, these are the socks that I typically wear I love these they have this amazing warranty as well it's like a forever kind of warranty so if you ever wear through a pair of these uh, you can take it wherever you have a dealer and they will replace it. They are a bit pricey. One pair of socks is about 20, 25 bucks or so, uh, but uh, well worth it considering they're one of the last pair of socks you'll ever own as long as you don't lose them. So uh, pretty cool with that. Shoes wise, I currently have the Ultra Lone Peak 5s. I really like these shoes. They're super lightweight. These have about uh, 350 miles on them and they're pretty worn in certain areas. They're super thin, super quick drying. I prefer shoes that don't have Gore-Tex in them because I can ford through rivers and stuff and they're gonna dry pretty quickly. Inside of these, I have these soles here. These are Tread Lab soles. It features a carbon fiber heel here and it raises the arch of your foot to provide additional support. So 
if you're transitioning to trail runners and looking at getting something that's zero drop like these Lone Peak Ultra shoes here, um, you definitely need to check out these Tread Lab soles. It will raise the arc uh, of your foot, provide that support for you, depending on the different arc heights that you have. Um, this one here is a high arc and it provides great support. It really took the pain out of my knees uh, when I first transitioned to trail runners and I won't go hiking without these super awesome uh, soles here. Definitely recommend getting these if you start going into trail runners. The Lone Peak 5 sell for about $150. Uh, brand new. You can find them every now and then on uh, the, on sale because they did just come out with the Lone Peak 6. The Tread Lab soles come in different colors as well. Uh, the yellow one is kind of like a high performance one. I also have a blue one in my other just everyday shoes that are kind of more like just a cushion kind of support. And then they have a green one which is uh, another feature as well that you can have. So whatever need you have, uh, Tread Labs has you covered for the support. The soles range from about 80 to about 50 bucks depending on the kind of performance that you need. I also enjoy wearing hats but I want something lightweight and quick drying so I use the North Face Horizon hat. It's super lightweight, 1.5 ounces. It has a relaxed classic fit that I like. It's breathable, quick drying, offers great sun protection. You also have this inner sweatband here that's really stretchy and keeps the sweat out of your face so that's a pretty nice thing as well. And then this is a heat reflecting logo. The Horizon hat sells for about $25 new. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the pod, check out the clothes that I take that I'm not wearing when I'm backpacking. These are usually things that I take when I am at the campsite or I wanna take off my stinky clothes or wet clothes, let them dry and I'll transition into these. These are like camp clothes, keeps me warm, uh, keeps me comfortable. I always carry a backup pair of socks and liners just in case mine get wet out, I can always switch into those as well. So first thing here that I have is the Outdoor Research Ferrosi shorts. Now, I really like these shorts because they're the same material as the Ferrosi pants, also offer that 50 SPF protection there, and they're super stretchy as well and durable. But they're coming a short, so if it's super hot outside, I'll put on these shorts instead of wearing those pants. And also, I do like jumping in alpine lakes when I get to campsites and stuff like that, and I will prefer going in these shorts. So they're really quick drying and really easy to use. I did add this little cloth belt here and together with everything, these are a min small and they only run uh, seven ounces. So super lightweight to put in your pack and, and keep there as an extra pair of shorts or let's say something happens to your pants, uh, you can just put on the shorts and wear those to hike as well. One of my favorite pieces of gear while I'm out at the campsite to wear or if it's cold and I need to hike and want something breathable will be this Appalachian Gear Alpaca hoodie. This is super cool material. It has an odor resistant kind of material so you can wear this for days and it's not going to stink. Something like polyester or nylon uh, might do. The hoodie is super nice as well. It's a thin material. It's also pretty stretchy. Uh, this is 100% alpaca uh, wool material here. So really nice here. It's also made in the USA so support America as well. It's warm but light. It uh, insulates even when wet. So that's the cool thing about that alpaca material here. Um, it's also very breathable. So you can wear it uh, while you're backpacking and you're not gonna overheat. But you can also put it on at the campsite, maybe even put on your rain shell and uh, have a nice uh, insulation there at that. Comes in a variety of colors as well. So there's a lot of options there. These sell out pretty quick because they are very popular. They sell for about 150 bucks or so. Uh, this one here is a men's small, weighs only 11 ounces for the kind of insulation you like. So let's say also another reason why I like this is because it's breathable, but it also allows me to wear this over, over like a base layer and it's not going to allow the mosquitoes really to uh, puncture through. So it's a thick enough material that keeps the mosquitoes at bay. Um, so I love wearing this hoodie. Another thing to go along with the hoodie is the Appalachian Gear Alpaca Beanie. Uh, this is really nice. It's the same material as the hoodie, super lightweight, stretchable, breathable, um, but it also just keeps your head warm when you get those chilly nights as well. This weighs only 1.5 two, three ounces. So super lightweight, sells for about $26 new as well. Another thing that I like to wear when I get to base camp is this Echo shirt. Now this is not the hoodie. I wasn't a big fan of the hoodie. Uh, you can watch this video here to see why I wasn't a big fan of the ho Echo hoodie. Um, but I love the shirt. It's super lightweight. It's stretchy. It's breathable. It's quick drying as 
well. And when I want something that uh, I can wear at camp after my Astroman hoodie is drying and stinky and all that, I'll put on this uh, Outdoor Research Echo shirt. It's a long sleeve shirt. The Echo shirt weighs only three ounces, so super lightweight and uh, it's very minimal. Uh, now it only offers 15 UPF sun protection, so I don't love wearing this while I'm backpacking. I prefer the Astro Man, uh, but if I need a backup shirt, let's say something happens to the Astro Man or something like that, uh, then I will wear this. This sale's new for about 50 bucks, but you can find it on sale every now and then as well. Another thing I take with me in the pod is a backup pair of Outdoor Research Echo boxer briefs. I really like these. They're super lightweight, the same Echo material, uh, super thin, breathable, and really light. They weigh in only at 1.8 ounces. They come in a variety of colors as well. I always take an extra pair while everything's all sweaty. I can wash those out, let them dry out, and uh, wear this pair at camp. And so it's always nice to have just a backup pair of uh, boxer briefs uh, for you. And they're super lightweight, barely any weight penalty at that. The Echo boxers sell for about 30 to 25 bucks. You can find them on sale every now and then. All right, another thing I take with me is a down jacket. I always take this just in case. You never know, especially when you're in the mountains, when weather might strike or it might get super cold. I try to forecast every now and then, but I always take this just in case. My Enlightened Equipment Toward Apex hoodie jacket. I really like this jacket. There's no seams or anything to allow cold wind drafts to get through. It's made of Apex material insulation. It's a synthetic insulation, so it's going to maintain warmth even if it gets wet a lot better than down. So this is a great jacket to wear in the Pacific Northwest, and it weighs in at only 8.68 ounces. This sells new for about 160 bucks, 150 bucks or so at AlignedEquipment.com. If you want to see a full review on this jacket, you can click the link here and check that out. So something that's always in my pack for emergency situations because you never know when the rain's going to hit is this North Face L5 Storm Jacket. I love this jacket because it's super lightweight and it's there to repel the rain if I need it to. It also has a pretty nice hood that can go over a hat. It's adjustable as well with this little adjusty strap here in the back. Um, there's no pockets to put your hands in. It will stuff into this pocket right here, the chest pocket, and so it c compresses real nicely at that. All right, one more thing that I do wear at camp. These are my camp sandals. They're also my water crossing sandals. These are the Shama Warrior sandals here. They have a really nice grip here on the bottom. You can even wear these while you are hiking. So they're zero drop sandals, uh, super minimal at that, but they offer enough protection that you can go over rocks and different things like that. Together these weigh in just around six ounces. So pretty awesome, lightweight, but offer protection. If something happened to my shoes, I can definitely even hike in these with my backpack as well. All right, keeping with the Enlightened Equipment line, I really love these Torrid Apex pants. These here are insulation pants when I get at camp and I know it's gonna be pretty cold outside. I'll put these on. They're insulated just like the jacket is, but they're in a pant feature and they're pretty minimal. You know, they just have kind of this bungee here, uh, waist elastic uh, cord. There's no pockets or anything like that, but they keep you nice and warm. I love these when it's really cold at night and I want a little extra insulation in my sleeping bag. I'll put on these and be super comfy and warm. These are small. They sell for about 120 bucks or so at Alighton Equipment, and these weigh only 6.8 ounces. All right, so that is my clothing system for my three-season backpacking. Let me know what you thought of it. Is there any gear that you're going to go out and get? Is there any gear maybe you'd recommend instead? Let me know in the comments what you think. Also, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Also, subscribe for more outdoor content like this. And as always, thanks for watching.